Okay, so what you want to do is go into File, and then you're going to click New. And I always like to create standard sizes of 4,500 by 5,400 pixels um, with a black background, but you can choose the background of your choice by just clicking here and picking your colors. Or uh, just to customize one that usually if you drop down here, it will show you there you go, white, black, transparent. Um, so in this case, I want a black background, but I will change it to transparent after, and I'll show you how to do that. So once you do that, you're going to hit create and then the template opens and then you're going to go back into file and you're going to go to open and place an image. So in this case, I'm going to um, pick this one here of a fist and I'm going to hit OK. And I took this fist from Canva and I saved it as a PNG, transparent PNG, and then I um, transferred over here in which, I, in which I just showed you. So next, I'm going to get my other image and that's an image that I want to embed in this picture of the fist. So I'm going to go to file, I'm going to go to open in place, and I'm going to get the British flag here. And I think I want to I'm going to go with this one here. And once it opens up, perfect. Okay, so now it's on top of the other image, the first image that we downloaded. So um, all I have to do now, um, and this is what you want, you want the image that you're going to embed into the, whether it be text or a picture, on top of that image. So as you can see, the British flag is on top in this area over here, on top of um, the, the fist. So this area is called layers, as you can see there. So what, once you have that, if let's say you don't have that, let's say it's down here instead, all you have to do is just, um, all you see, so it will switch, but all you have to do is just bring it back up here. That's all you do, okay? So now I need to embed it. So what I'm going to do, I'm gonna place my cursor on the image at the top. So the image that I want to embed into the other, and then at the, um, on the keyboard, sorry, with a Mac, I have a Mac, you're going to click on the option key, hold that down. And when you hold that down, then you're going to click your, your mouse in this area. Once you click, it automatically transfers the image and you have the ability to move it. Let's say you don't like that where a specific part of the picture, you just don't want it there. You may want to place it somewhere else. You have that ability of moving it where you want it to be situated. Okay, so now important to know that when you save this, and I remember I was telling you about this black background, it will save, if you save it as a PNG, it will also save the black background. So you wanna remove that and make it transparent. I only put a black background because I wanted to be able to see clearly what I'm doing. You, you In the beginning, you could have just chosen um, transparent, but then, you know, it's kind of difficult in my, in my eyes. Anyways, so, if before you save this image you ha and you want it to be transparent, the background, you've got to go over here back into layers and do you see where it says background? Make sure you, it, this part is highlighted as you can see and then you're just gonna delete it. And then you go up to file and then you're gonna go to um, export as a PNG. Once it loads up, you're going to then, you can name your project. So in this case, um, I'll just call it um, Brit Fist Pump. And you can save it in any format that is available here. So obviously I want a PNG format. I want it to keep it at the, the width and height pixels at 100% quality, and then I'm gonna save. And then it tells you where you wanna save it. So in this case, I'll just save it and voila, that's it. So once you save it, for me, in this case, I use this in one of my Canva projects, as you can see here. So once I saved it, I uploaded it onto Canva and I placed it on this project that I created. And it's just simple as that, y'all. Anyways, thank you for watching this video. Please leave your comments down below if you have any. Also like the video and subscribe. And y'all take care and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.